at Florida. So we discussed this uh, the Monday after Baylor had their spring game, which is a week ago, like almost 10 or 11 days ago. But here's a a tweet from Travis Roeder, who writes college football, analyzes it for us on the site. Uh, Certainly appears that Aranda has chosen to wait till the fall to name a QB, though I guess we will see. Could drop at any random time, I suppose. I know that Brian Etheridge and others responded they still expect him to do that. I think when Dave Aranda says something, even though he could change his mind, I just think that they – what does it mean that – they haven't because when it was the shape and Bohannon thing, I think the timeline also was affected by the transfer portal to help Gary move on, right? That was and, and the fact they were ready for Shapen to be the guy. Dave Aranda mentioned in the post game of the spring game that they're gonna have they'll make an announcement and somebody asked how they're gonna do it. He goes, I don't know. It's a great question, but do you just think that they're not sure who that is or is there well, even any rush to name it, even uh, though that's what Coach Aranda said? I, I don't think there's any rush to name it. But also, let's also look at where they they were roster-wise at quarterback last year if they let Gary Bohannon leave. They had someone who, Kyron Jones, who was going to be a redshirt freshman, they felt was going to be physically able to step in for Blake Shapin if he left. So, or... or Gary Bohannon and Blake Shapin got hurt if they did let Gary walk. So Gary can walk, and they were fine on the roster. Now, though, if you say you name Sawyer Robertson the starter, and look, they they did the right thing by Gary, and it, it that that was great. But now, if you say you name Sawyer Robertson the starter, and Blake walks, and then you can't get another quarterback, and you've got to scramble again to get someone, you're talking about R.J. Martinez as your backup quarterback, and how good do you feel about that? I know he did some interesting things in the spring game, but I think it's a little bit of a different spot than they were in last year where they had the freedom to to do the right thing by Gary Bohannon, not to say that they weren't all altruistic. Well, who in that was the backup that. to shape in last year? It was Kyron Drones, but they felt better, yeah. probably better about of course that it someone yeah. than if you let Sawyer Robertson be the starter. It's R.J. Martinez. You've seen less of him than you did of Kyron going into the year of that. So part of that is, yeah, it's it's easy to do the right thing when all the things are also in your face. I mean, they, not yeah. that they wouldn't have, but so it's easy to do that. they Brewer transfer, Drones transfer. Um, Oh, yeah, they've had others transfer. I just went blank at a couple of others. A Zeno transferred, and so there is the Bohannon transfer. So uh, I guess that, Craig, do you think that there's any reason why they haven't named it anything particular other than the fact that it's, you know, there's no rush on this, but he did mention Coach Aranda that they would name a QB1. I see no benefit to naming a starter right now. I, I, I see little to absolutely no benefit outside of if you just think it's going to inspire the troops to play harder, uh, practice harder, lift harder, run harder this offseason. Um, if Blake's that inspiring, then I don't know why there's been a question this long. If he's going to get guys juiced up like that by being named the starter to work harder this offseason and really gear up to go play for him, then this decision should have already been made. Um so I, I don't think there's like some mystery to unsolve here. It's like I, I feel like with Aranda sometimes we try to get like too deep into his words and, and things like that. I don't think he was trying to be ominous. I don't think he was trying to be suspenseful. I, I think he was just saying like, yeah, we'd like to name a quarterback and you can take that at face value. But I didn't take it as though like if they don't name somebody within a week, then all hell's breaking loose or anything like that. I just took it as like if they feel comfortable enough to do it, they will. And so the fact that they haven't just tells me that maybe they're just not quite comfortable doing it just yet. Now, I don't know what would be coming down the pipeline anytime soon that would change that opinion because whether they just could do it randomly in the middle of May. Like, oh, yeah, by the way, spring ball's been over mm-hmm. for three weeks, but, oh, yeah, we, d- we just now decided that Blake's our starter. Well, if you're going to do that, you would have done that like last week because spring ball's finished, and why would you just randomly do that weeks later? Maybe they made the announcement and no one's just – Maybe they made the announcement they, they know. Yeah. it doesn't matter, but, you know, the one thing I see about – um you know, the, the transfers and things like that. Sawyer Robertson's not transferring anywhere if he doesn't get the starting job. I think he made it pretty clear he knows the situation he walked into and realizes, like, he can't transfer again. He'd have to go sit out another full year. So that would be detrimental to him. He, he transferred with the intention of finishing out his career at Baylor and knowing he was walking into a situation where there's already a guy, now a guy that's beatable, but a guy that if he doesn't beat, he's okay with sitting behind and waiting his opportunity. I mean, that's the way I took his words this spring and the way I took Aranda's words. So there's no threat of him leaving if you name Blake. So it's even more reason why if, it, if 
you felt so adamantly about it, you go ahead and just do it. But uh, at the same time, if you're worried about uh, Blake transferring, I've seen some people say, well, what's he going to do? Where is he going to go? Who's he going to go play for? And I've said, like, it, I'm not saying that he's going to go transfer like Ole Miss or something, but maybe he just goes back to baseball. Maybe, here's what he can do. He can make a decision to where he's no longer on the team. Now, where yeah. that goes beyond doesn't really matter. doesn't matter if he elects to go to the Arena League. doesn't uh, matter if he wants to go dig ditches. doesn't matter if he wants to go play baseball again. That's one less scholarship quarterback, and you're all the way back into the same cycle you found yourself in before getting Sawyer Robertson. Yep. So... I think you do have to be mindful of that and not just treat Shapin like he's like, what's he going to do? It's <laughs> Leave, yeah, it, it, to you me, idiot? He's going to leave yeah. because he's just not fed up with it and doesn't care well, anymore? Look, I, Again, I mean, the, the way Baylor fans sometimes treat quarterbacks when they're not as elite the year before as they were the year before, to me, is sometimes it's just, uh, it's, it's, to me, mind-boggling. Fo football fans in general are always... No, I know, yeah. I, I know, but there but, was hatred oh, yeah. towards Charlie Brewer. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There, like, there he were was they... the one that shouldered two and seven more than the head coach or anybody else on that program. So yeah. I think, saying that, that, you know, if you're going to name somebody, Blake's the logical guy to name, because, yeah, I mean, if it's Sawyer, then Blake can just be like, I'm done, like, sorry, but what? Uh, clearly, this is just not working out. And, and then you're down to one scholarship quarterback again. And you don't have any, like, great go-getters in the portal right now. So And the portal's closed. So you, that's just – that's that's playing with fire, I think, a little bit. So, anyways, to me, I, I just think that maybe they're they're not, um, you know, fully sure. And maybe they're just – there's just not a feel of a, a need to go and make it all public and announce it that yeah. way. Who maybe, knows? Maybe but. that's the case. Maybe well, they you, know, and they just haven't made it public. You that's, can still sign people out of the portal – but they can't. Yeah, they can't, but, but yeah. I'm just saying, what but, are the offerings well, at this yeah, point in exactly. time for a quarterback? And you're you're going in and telling a guy, hey, we need you to be our backup quarterback, which means you're going to have to wait until the end because they're going to exhaust all options to be the starter, which is why they're they're in a much different spot than they were when they let Gary walk because they had a second scholarship right. quarterback in Kyron Jones. They don't have that right now. And how? What has Sawyer Robertson done exactly? Not, I mean, yeah. what, what is he's the backup he, to a quarterback that people are unsure of? That's who he is. Yeah. So, like, uh, the, just the whole idea of uh, we'll be fine uh, if that were to all, you know, collapse again. I, I, I'm not so sure. Uh, I think that the best bet for them would be probably for Blake Shapin to start the year. Uh, and then, you know, if it takes half a game, if it takes five games, if it doesn't even take any time. Uh, because there's never even a flinching of, of him not being the guy. Uh, regardless, you know, he's got the reins. Go prove it. Go earn it. And if he does, great. And he takes you through next season, that's awesome. But you know you've got a guy in Sawyer Robertson that's waiting, whether it is to be QB1 by week three or whether it's to come in in case of an injury in week five or whether it's, you know, take over the whole show because Blake's just not – playing up to snuff I think that's the most logical way to go because at that point if Blake doesn't work out then, then what are you going to say like he then he doesn't work out at that point right. he'll have two years as a starter he'll have had multiple games to play um, whereas with Robertson you know he's still very early on in his career so that that to me makes the most sense but I'm not Dave Aranda so we'll see what they do All right, a couple